All right, here we go with part two of the five case jumbo break. We've done the first two cases. So now we're gonna do the last three, I think, in one video. And again, at the very end, I will do a full hit recap of all five cases. So <clears throat> you can have that if you get, if you have other things to do or you fall asleep after a long week of work, you can wake up tomorrow and there'll be a hit recap. So you can see which grade, which cards you're going to submit for grading, right, Corey? All right. Uh, okay. Got a fresh drink. Ready to roll. Much more impressive. Robert, I don't know if you heard earlier, but. After tonight, I will have done 20 cases of Bowman in three days, plus probably six cases of Five Star, and all the other stuff we did this week. Oh, wait a minute. Chris Owings, Rookie Blue. There we go. Pretty good. One seventy four of two fifty. No super break. I have to, I'm doing after this break. Right after this break is done, super break. I'm not gonna do a break in the middle of another break. That wouldn't work. Sorry, you have to wait forever through all this Bowman when you're a super break person. Probably like the last thing you'd ever want to do. But I can't. I can't stop in the middle of a five case break and do another break. I'm gonna do that. Bowman items. No, I'm. I love Bowman. I'm just saying it's impossible for me to do all that. I. I have so much help and it's still hard. It's a crazy amount of card processing going on here at Cardsmith Headquarters. Jorge de la Rosa. Sorry, Super Break people and, and uh, Five Star people. You have to sit through all this Bowman. It's release week of Bowman. We'll get back to normal next week. I'll mix up the breaks next week so there's football, basketball, baseball. I mean, there'll be more Bowman, but... It's not going to be dominated by Bowman all week, like two five-case breaks like this week. <clears throat> I have more NT football as well. Jimmy Nelson, orange paper. Rafael De Paula, mini. So next week I have, uh, you know, we'll do triple threads and museum and maybe some more five-star football if you guys want. I was thinking of doing a five-star football slash NT du dual break. Lewis Thorpe. <laughs> Over the nachos. What was that? Is that me? Oh, I did? Did I? Uh, I'm receiving word that I stopped in the middle of the five case break to do a five star. Is that right, Ryan? Austin Hedges. Maybe I did. You were here, Ryan. Did I do that? What? I stopped in the middle of the last five case break for a five star break. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I'm a, wow. Micah Johnson, refractor auto. I can't even remember what I did two days ago. One sixty eight of five hundred. Of course, wasn't that because we were switching back and forth in the stupid feeds and stuff? That's true. I do have 12 five star. I do have 2012 five star. BJ Boyd mini. Johnny Gomes. Manuel Margot. And that's it. Uh, yeah, that day sucked. Give me a freaking break on that day, jeez. Chris Bryant. The real reason that it got all sidetracked and messed up is because freaking Ustream delayed us for like hours because it wouldn't work. I had to go back to YouTube. If if everything would have worked normally that day, it would have been a totally different story. I would have gotten to five star on time. That's why. Lewis Thorpe, fifty one of ninety nine, top one hundred die cut. Dorsey's Paulino. 
I think I just felt bad because we were like three hours behind or two hours behind because of stupid Ustream. <clears throat> Michael Choice. That's why. Now I remember. No, I don't think we're going to do any five case jumbos anymore. This is the last one. Well, I wouldn't say this is the last one, but for now, next week we're not going to. How about that? I don't think we'll do one next week because it takes up too much time and everyone else like wants to kill that doesn't care about Bowman. Mookie Betts, number two. It's Ryan's fault. And drink. You know, I haven't had a drink for... I want to say it's been two weeks since I had a drink. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. Joe Nathan Blue Paper. Rosell Herrera. Man, Wednesday was so terrible. Cliff Lee Mini. Courtney Hawkins mini. No Ryan, not Jules Ryan, yeah. Joe Nathan Gray Paper. Luis Sardinas. I've got bruises on right like right here on my arms. Right there. Because they're on the like laying on the table right here. I'm weak. I'm crumbling. I'm an old man. Daniel McGrath autograph. Daniel McFly autograph. Uh, Miguel Andujar. Top 100. Nick Castellanos, Blue Wave Mini. And Chris Beck, White Sox, Blue Refractor. 171 of 250. Yeah, we went through all the base so far and we didn't find any Russell Wilsons. How about a Tyler Wade green auto? Oh, yeah. Javier Baez mini refractor. Coco Crisp ice. And Taylor Gieri. Blue Paper, Ryan Stanek. Hunter Harvey, Mini Refractor. <clears throat> and Colin Moran, Top 100. All right. Time for a base dump. Oh. You gonna make it for case number seven, Ryan? Ryan and Jules? <laughs> I'm gonna push your case seven back again. Because of the uh, stupid, well, not stupid, but super box. Brandon Trinquan, refractor. There's not enough time. Why is there no time? 430 of 500 refractor. Why can't there just be enough time for me to do everything in the same prime time for everyone to be able to see it?
I need help. We need help. I need two Sams. Two different feeds. Mike Trout Blue Paper. Eddie Butler Top 100. Mark Appel Refractor. That's nice. D. Gordon, MVP. Dodgers best player now. Unbelievable player. J.R. Grand Mini Refractor. Matt Kane Ice. Yeah, that's a good question. Martin Agosta. Um, hmm, good question. Well, what I'm going to do is make a spreadsheet of all... I think this is what I did last time when we did Bowman Draft. I'm going to make a spreadsheet of all the cards that people want graded and then sort it by the player and see if we have any duplicates. And if we have duplicates, I will scan them and save them. I did that before, so then then when I look at them when they come back, I can know which one's which. Andrew Toll's autograph. <laughs> I know, I need another Smith. So that's what I'll do. Oops. Top 100, DJ Peterson. Albert Almora, Blue Wave Mini. Yeah, I've met Robert. We arm wrestled, and I won easily. Then we, tr we switched arms, did the other arm, and I lost badly. Pierce Johnson, autograph. Bubba Starling Mini, Adam Lind, Ice. <laughs> purple Paper. Oh, man. The worst possible purple paper you could ever get. Marco Scudero. Ugh. Can't even look at that guy. Jimmy Nelson Mini. I'm left-handed, actually. I don't know if Robert is. Corey Seager. Tom Glavin. <sighs> he bought me dinner. It's, that's true. He's not joking. That actually did happen. Jordano Ventura, top 100. And Alex Reyes, black refractor, 49 of 99. That was a late night. Yeah, what did I even eat? It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't actually dinner, huh? Did I even eat anything? I don't remember. Seriously, Scooter. How did he make the checklist? Joke of the night. Scooter, how do you make the checklist? Joke of the night. Actually, it's not even a joke. Devin Travis. Uh, my beef with Scudero, he's on the Giants when they won the World Series. And he's just the most annoying player. Everything about him drives me nuts. Jose Ramirez, blue paper. Francisco Lindor. First off, he's not good at all. And then in the playoffs, he hit like 900. He was like the second, second coming of Ted Williams in the playoffs that year for no reason. Robert Stevenson. Jason Hayward, Ice. He just had to become like the greatest hitter in the history of Major League Baseball when the Giants are making a run for their second World Series and ruin my life yet again. He, he represents to me the Giants winning their second World Series that they shouldn't have, that they got lucky to win. That was a miracle. Wilmer... Best, oh yeah, whatever that guy's name is, who cares? Eric Johnson Mini. Uh, Micah Johnson Blue Refractor. Four of 250.
You ever watch Marco Scudero in the box, like when he's hitting? Watch that guy in a bat one time. He... I can't even talk about it. <laughs> Black autograph. Jake Barrett. There we go. Three of 99 from uh, Diamondback. No, 83 of 99. Jake Barrett. Eric B. Yeah. <clears throat> he, like, he lean. He does this thing where he, like, bends his back back, like, leans back and puts his arms out forward with a bat. And, like, it just drives me nuts. I don't know why. He looks like he's really cocky. That's what it, that's what it boils down to. <sighs> but I'm just a hater. A Giants hater, so. Kevin Gossman, orange paper. Christian Binford autograph. I don't know. who. I'm trying to think who's the worst for me. Is it... The guy on the Diamondbacks now that I always say that I hate that was on the Giants World Series team in the first one, Jorge Alfaro. What's his name? Man, talk about cocky. He might be the cockiest player I've ever watched. Avisel Garcia, yellow paper. Carlos Martinez, mini. What's that fool's name? Johnny Gomes. Oh, no. You know who's really annoying? I do, but I don't know his name. Garen Cecchini. Most annoying player in baseball. Go. <clears throat> George Springer, top 100. No bar? Oh, man. Gomez, that's it. Gomez for the Brewers is the most annoying player right now. Easily. A rod, yeah, that's that's pretty obvious. Gabriel Encinas, Carlos Gomez, yeah, that's the one I think is the most annoying. Let me tell you, the second most annoying, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew B is always taking crap from CSB. It just just happens that we all hate the bunch of Brewers. <laughs> Carlos Martinez. Tyler Austin, Orange Wave Mini. I love it. A Dylan Overton Refractor. <laughs> no, Andrew, never. Come back, Andrew. I, I take it back. I love everyone on the Brewers. Pablo Sandoval. Eh, yeah, Paul Goldschmidt. He's, I mean, he's a giant, so. Pablo Sandoval is pretty disgusting. You know, he's always chewing like a baseball-sized chew. He got like a beach ball of chew in his mouth all the time. It's disgusting. Kevin Plawicki. Jose Valverde. I don't know what he does. Oh, is he the guy that celebrates every time he does anything? Anyway, what's the guy on the Diamondbacks that I hate? Why can no one remember his name? Mason Williams. He's on the Diamondbacks and he does nothing. But he was on the Giants when they won the World Series. What's that guy's name? You guys know. Wei in Chen. Mikel Franco Mini.
I could see people thinking Puig is annoying. Hey, Under Armour Auto. Matt McPherson. 73 of 235. Cody Ross, exactly. Oh my god, I hate Cody Ross. Cody Ross is... Oh man. If I had to pick between watching Scudero and Cody Ross, I would shoot myself. But I think... Dang, that's tough. Ronnie Bautista. Oh, man. I think Cody Ross is more annoying than Scudero to me. Cody Ross is so cocky. Just the way he... Just watch that guy at bat sometime. Jameson Tyon Mini. Roy Holiday Ice. Craig Council. I could totally understand people not liking Puig. I, I can understand it. He's annoying. Mark Appel Mini. He plays like an idiot. And he's really cocky. I just like him because he's on the Dodgers and he's good. If he was on another team, I would probably honestly hate him. I could, I could admit that. I still think he's really, you know, talented. But Eric Hosmer. Gold, gold paper. Jeff Kent. Yeah, Jeff Kent was annoying. Lance McCullers, top 100. Jeff Kent was like, I'm so cool and tough and like stoic. I'm just never going to even like have any personality ever. Jeremy Giambi. <laughs> Jeremy Giambi. You mean Jason Giambi? Jeremy Giambi. Wait, which one's the good one? Jason. Wait. I forgot which one's the good one. Mike Mayer's Blue Auto. John Rocker, yeah, well. Six of 150. Jason Giambi's the good one, right? Milton Bradley, good one. Jason's the good one, yeah. Milton Bradley is an idiot. <clears throat> Mookie Betts, top 100. Preston Tucker. Zambrano. Mm -hmm. Clayton Blackburn Mini. Dwayne Underwood. <laughs> Jeremy Giambi. I didn't even know Jeremy Giambi was like existed enough for people to think he was annoying. I don't. He doesn't even do anything. He was like a journeyman, do nothing player. Jonathan Gray Mini. Conseco, yeah. Trying to think of guys I really didn't like. You know, I hated Will Clark when he was on the Giants. Now I don't really hate him that much for some reason. He seems like a nice guy. Victor Sanchez, but I just always hated his face. Jack, you remember that face that Will Clark did when he was playing first base with that weird... His mouth was like a... It's not exactly a frown because a frown isn't really an upside-down smile. Rosel Herrera, refractor auto. It's like Jose Canseco had an actual upside down smile. Like his lips and his mouth went an uh, like a yeah, an upside down smile. It was the weirdest looking thing ever, and he always had that stupid look on his face. Kendrys Morales, Delino De Shields Mini, <laughs> Mike Olt. Ah, oh, that's a band hammer for Jack. See ya, Jack. You're out of here. <laughs> Abasel Garcia. Sergio Romo. Good call. Oh my gosh, I freaking hate Sergio Romo. Tyler Wade. We've got like a hundred Yankee autographs, haven't we? 
Why are closers annoying? That's true. It's because they have to be so, like, jacked up and confident because it's such a tough job. You can't be, like, a timid closer. <laughs> yeah, I hated all those guys, too. Alfonso Soriano. You know what I hated about Matt Williams? He... Matt Williams... I, mean, I don't know for sure. Didn't they say Matt Williams probably did steroids, or did he ever admit to it? Brian Wilson is annoying. I wish he wasn't on the Dodgers. I hate him. Oh, come on, Green Auto. Nope. Zach Borenstein, Green Refractor. 73 of 75. And Henry Owens. Kendall. <clears throat> I do hate every giant. That's true. No, actually, I like Buster Posey. I Actually, I really like... Um, uh, what's his name? I have... I cannot remember people's names tonight. My brain is fried. The right fielder for the Giants, the crazy one. I like him. John Gregorio or Joan Gregorio. Hunter Pence. I like Hunter Pence. I like I like Buster Posey. Will Myers Blue Paper. Travis Darno. I like, um, I even like Lincecum and Kane, actually. Romo, I hate. It basically, you know what it comes down to for me is guys just being cocky. That's what it is. Devin Travis. Giants players that are cocky. Robert Gesellman. Because... When you're watching, when you're watching a game against your rival, like you're, let's say you're a, a Dodger fan, you watch the Giants. Whenever the Giants are winning, you just are so annoyed, and so you just look at whoever is the cockiest player, and that's who you put all your uh, hate into because they're like, it's like they're rubbing it in. That's what it is. Yeah, Angel Pagan. Freaking hate Angel Pagan. Super cocky. Matthew Bowman. I love Matthew Bowman. Carlos Correa Mini. Ooh, Red Ice. Ooh, Red Ice Auto. CJ Cron. That's going to go to the Angels. Corey M. has the Angels spot. 25 of 25. Looks like there's a little... Uh, don't grade this one, Corey. It's got some edge problems and corner problems on the upper left corner. Oh, the bottom quarter. Yeah, it's got two corner problems. Damn. Nolan Ryan was pretty cocky, huh? I mean, he could back it up. That's why I'll always hate Scudero, because he just, I don't know. Maybe he's not really cocky, but he sure acts like it. He sure looks like someone who thinks they're the greatest player ever. Hunter Renfro Refractor. Look at this hater. Josh Hater. Hater. CJ Cron. Roger Clements, yeah. Phew. Cockiest player ever, maybe. Jesse Biddle. Ryan Stanick. <laughs> Juan Pierre? Huh. Yeah, I like Juan Pierre because by the time he got to the Dodgers, he was like 70. And he actually did really well for them. And he, he was kind of like a underappreciated player but yeah he did always oh, bonds please bonds uh, Evan Gaddis yellow paper bonds um, it's weird I didn't eh, I, yeah, I guess I did hate bonds but he was so good when he was on steroids god 
Bonds was so amazing that year when he hit 900 home runs that year. I couldn't help but just not hate him because it was, I didn't care. It was so amazing. Nelson Rodriguez, Kendry Flores, Anthony Santander. Come on, autograph. Ryan Healy, Ryder Jones. Oh, no autos. I read Game of Shadows. <laughs> All right. This case is flying by just talking about players that we hate. Do you guys remember watching that season? What was that? 2000. Was that 2001 or 2000? You know, the year he broke the home run record. Do you remember watching him? He was. Like, he got walked like. 5,000 times. It was either he got walked or he hit a home run. So weird. Ronnie Bautista, refractor. It was, a, that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in sports. A guy that, like, if you pitch the ball to him, he would just hit a home run. <laughs> like, every time. So you just have to walk him, like, every single time or give up a home run. Those are your two options. Brian McCann. There's never been anything like that that I've ever seen. Even like Jordan when he was his best or whatever. It's like, wow, this is just dominated. Roberto Osuna. Uh, Chris Bostic, you ever heard of him? Ice. Where have all the Francos gone? Long time coming. Robert's here, so I gotta sing. Jorge Solar Mini. Buxton. Yeah, there's no way. No one will ever break that record. <laughs> Let's hear about the best players. My favorite players of all time. Carlos Gonzalez. Dylan Floro. And Edwin Diaz. <laughs> the best players. Well, you already know, growing up, Nick Van Exel. My favorite player. Followed by Eddie Jones. Byron Scott was one of my favorites back before those guys in the 80s. Jason Hirsch, another one of my favorite players. This is case three, almost done. Baseball favorite players. Who was my favorite? I never really had a guy in baseball that I loved, I don't think. Taiwan Walker. Matt Kemp when he almost won MVP that year. Who, I can't remember who won the MVP that year, but anyways. Matt Kemp. Whatever year that was, three years ago, I was about as close to loving a player as I've come. A baseball player. He was so awesome. Byron Scott with his thigh socks, yeah. I love Byron Scott. Xander Bogart's mini. Uh, Sean Plefner ice. Because even back like the 90s Dodgers, I never really loved Piazza. I mean, I liked him, but I never really loved Piazza. Eric Karros, I never really loved. Hershiser, I didn't really love. You know who, actually... Jack. Jack, let me know if you agree with me on this. Hold on. Cole Hamels. Red Ice. We got a lot of red ice. 9 of 25. Christian Bethencourt. Jack, was Mickey Hatcher not like the funnest player ever to watch? I loved Mickey Hatcher in the 80s. Eddie Rosario, top 100. Ron Gant was a stud. All right, case three is done.
Now we're gonna finish out the 5k sir. Everyone's waiting. Everyone's been waiting all day and all week for this break. <clears throat> all right, let me do a base dump and we'll start the next case. All right, case number four of five, we're powering through it. So anyway, Jack, Mickey Hatcher. Remember when Mickey Hatcher, he would hit a home run and then he would sprint? <laughs> he would, he would get from a home back to home in like 10 seconds on a home run. Amazing. I love that guy. He was nuts. He was nuttier than squirrel turds, as they say. Another one bites the dust. Eddie Butler, top 100. That, whoa, Jack. We just said the same thing at the same time. Creepy. Brandon Drury. Mm. He always did that, though. He would always sprint. Sprint the bases. Look at this hater. Josh Hater. Hated it. Josh Hader's had a few. I know, if he is too damn slow. <clears throat> Hunter Dozier Mini. Pat Stover Ice. Is the um, Mayweather fight tomorrow? Hader's a three star? Nice. David Wright, Yellow Paper, Jace Peterson. <sighs> oh, blue autograph. Looks like a Oakland A's. Chris Kohler. <laughs> Number 99 of 150, Chris Kohler, blue autograph. I love blue autographs. And Jason Hirsch. <clears throat> Justin Nicolino. Did the Dodgers end up losing Jack or is the game still going? Andrew B. Uh, I love Andrew B. 
DJ Peterson top 100. Blue Refractor Victor De Leon. 114 of 250. Oh, tomorrow. Money May fighting tomorrow. Tyler Austin. I can't. If if uh, boxing pay per views were like twenty bucks, I would buy one. But there's no way. They're like what are they like sixty five dollars HD? They're like seventy. Yeah. So there's no way. If Scudero rang the doorbell right now in my house, I would just act like I didn't hear it. No, they're more than that. The HD boxing pay-per-views, Billy Burns, Blue Paper, they're like 75, 80 bucks, I swear. UFC is like 60. One UFC... Oh, man. I'd pay $60 for UFC every day of the week. And I would pay $20 for boxing. It's not even close. Like, I think you get like 10 times the entertainment from a UFC than you do boxing. All right, we got some blue waves with a red. Hunter Renfro, Austin Wright is our red wave that is numbered 17 of 25 Michael Feliz Lewis Thorpe Ramiel Tapia that is it <clears throat> I think I've yeah I've bought pretty much every UFC pay-per-view in the last I don't even know couple years or gone over to somebody's house I don't think I've missed a pay-per-view in some form or another for five years Ty Buttery it's the best first row sports yeah first row virus sports pop-up bullcrap Javier Baez Mini, Gabriel Inoa. Are you guys going to see the new um, Godzilla? I have to admit, I don't care about movies at all anymore. Wait a minute, hold on. Javier Betancourt, Black Refractor Auto. 52 of 99. Jules Javier Betancourt. I don't care about movies. I don't watch movies anymore at all. And I definitely don't care about superhero movies and that crap. But for some reason, I really want to see Godzilla. I don't know why. Gojira. Wade Miley. Orange Paper. Luis Sardinas. Joan Gregorio. Sorry, let me show that a little bit longer. Joan Gregorio for the Giants Auto. Going to Joan Gregorio. Ah, oh, Betancourt two star. Okay. Yeah. I don't watch movies at all. Taylor Gear. I'm the like the least movie person you've ever known. Don't even care. I'm sure it is crap, but I kind of want to see it. Every movie's crap. The last movie I saw in the theater was the Lord of the Rings. The last, uh, not Lord of the Rings, uh, the last Hobbit one. That's the last movie I saw in the theater. And before that, I could not even tell you what the movie I saw before that was. What did I see before that? Uh, well, I saw Jurassic Park 3D about a year ago. <laughs> Santiago Nessi. I never saw 42. I don't have any plans of ever seeing 42. Yeah. Brian Cranston being in it makes it look more legitimate, like it's going to be a good movie. Bartolo Colon, Gray Paper. 
Hunter Harvey Mini. And Devin Travis Refractor. Ugh, Frozen. Don't even get me started on Frozen. Terrible movie. Just an awful movie. George Springer, number 19, Nick Travieso Mini Refractor. Why do they have to just keep remaking movies all over and over again? I heard they're doing a new Terminator trilogy. It's like, can't you guys just think of any new ideas? All you can do is just remake the same movies over and over again? Nobody can think of anything new and interesting. Phil Irvin. Like, how many Spider-Mans there, does there really need to be? Orlando Arcia. How many Spider-Mans are there now? Is there like six Spider-Mans in the last ten years? What's the guy? Who is the Spider-Man? The, the first one, you know? Like in 2000. What's his name? Travis Dearnot. How many movies did he make as Spider-Man? And now they got another Spider-Man. Yeah, new Ghostbusters. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, the Turtles movie, I could watch that. I freaking love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Luke Jackson. Tobey Maguire. Yeah, there we go. Tobey Maguire. How many? He had three movies. That's Spider-Man. Like, you don't have to make another Spider-Man. He already did it. <laughs> 96 Spider-Man movies in two years. I don't care about Spider-Man anymore. I've already seen it. It already was a movie that I watched, so I don't need to watch it again. Freaking movies. They're so bad now. Star Wars? No, Spider-Man. No, I'm talking about, about movies. Oh, Star Wars. Now, if Mike Olt was Spider-Man, I'd watch it. Ooh, if Jose Abreu was Spider-Man, I'd watch it too. He'd hit like 10, home, 11 home runs. Jose Abreu, number two. We have a refractor and a base auto Abreu now. We need a Mark Appel. You know, how long has it been since we had a Mark Appel auto? We had a bunch in the first five caser, and then... Did we have like one since then? Ben Lively, Orange Paper, Rafael De Paula Mini... Yeah, Batman. There's another one. I didn't need new Batmans. I like the 80s Batmans. Wendell Riho, Refractor. 328 of 500. Although, Batman... Wait, which one did I watch? Oh, I watched... The second Batman was pretty good, I think. It was really long, but it was good. Alex Yarbrough. The third Batman was also pretty good. Whatever, people must love them because they keep making them and everyone goes to watch them, so obviously I'm the one who doesn't get it. I'm not the intended audience. I'm the I'm the uh, dumb one. I think it's also because all the movies I watched when I was a kid are the ones that I think of as being real, and so when they remake them, now that I'm an adult, they, you know, that's all it is. I'm sure if I was a kid when these new movies came out, I'd think those are the good ones and the old ones suck. Oh, I see something red and shiny. Come on, red autograph. Do it. Red Mark Appel. Or it could be a red Pat Stover. Is it just me, or does it seem like most of our low-colored stuff is Dodgers? Pat Stover. Three of five. Adam West. Yeah, come on, Adam West. You don't need to do anything after Adam West. He's the best. <laughs> Sandra Gilbart. Did the RoboCop movie come out already? Yeah. It did? Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Did anyone see the new RoboCop? Shelby Miller, why is there a new RoboCop? 
Dorsey's Paulina. The old Robocop was just fine. <laughs> it bombed? Good. I only say good because I just I don't want them to keep doing that. Make something new. Come on. Mookie Betts. I actually watched uh, Prometheus. Isn't that like supposed to be the Aliens prequel? That wasn't that bad. See, it's sort of like you're taking the Aliens, you know, franchise or brand or whatever and trying to build a new story with it. I guess that's kind of cool. Like something that we haven't already seen. Uh, Miguel Cabrera Blue Paper, Lewis Thorpe, Refractor Auto, 431 of 500. It wasn't, I wouldn't say it was a good movie, but it wasn't bad. Oh, come on, Redemption. Here we go. This is it. I'm calling it. This is it. Don't say rookie, don't say rookie, don't say rookie. Bowman Chrome rookie, gold refractor. Okay, well that's going to let us down a little easy. Billy Hamilton. Blue and a gold, Billy Hamilton. Oh, my arms are killing me right now. Do you need more? You don't have anything? I'm taking a break. Yeah, Mr. Speedy Sleeve. Ryan's the speediest sleever. <clears throat> Bubba Starling. I did like The Hobbit. All The Hobbit movies and all The Lord of the Rings movies. I don't know why. Lord of the Rings. Even though they're obviously totally fake. <laughs> did you guys see that Onion article on Donald Sterling's number being retired? The Onion is the funniest... Thing ever by the way Eric Jagilo Ice they come up with stuff that is not even humanly possible to come up with it's so funny <laughs> Jack you would love it look up the un go to the onion and look at the Donald Sterling number retired thing Severino Gonzalez don't don't tempt me I can do a really good Smeagol voice actually I'm not gonna do it though I mean, they're not fake. They're real. Hobbit movies are real, just not real, real. Daniel Polka. Chris Bostic Blue. 30 of 250 Chris Bostic Blue. No. Here, let me give you a preview of what it sounds like. Just listen to Smeagol, and then that's what it's like. It's exactly like that. Shane Victorino, Blue Paper, Victor Sanchez. It's like my Elmo voice. I can do Elmo. Sounds exactly like Elmo. Rosel Herrera. Elmo, Yoda. They're all really the same. Anyway, if you haven't seen the onion thing with Donald Sterling, ooh, blue mini or uh, green mini Taylor Gieri, five of ten Taylor Gieri. It says Clippers retire Donald Sterling's number, and it's just a jersey. <laughs> it's a jersey with the number one on it. it just says a hole for the name. God, so good. Ah, uh, Ubaldo Jimenez. Orange paper, Corey Seeger mini refractor. Oh. No. Alright. <clears throat> Time for a base dump. Can I get your base out?
can't do Chewbacca. That's a totally different thing. Or help you out enough. I love when he's looking through Luke's food. He's just throwing stuff out on the ground, you know, when Luke gets to... to um, Yoda's planet, Dagobah system. He's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. That's all he does. Um, Matt Davidson, top 100. <laughs> Away with you, my friend. I mean no harm. Marcus Stra uh, Stroman mini refractor. <clears throat> oh, Yoda. You see Yoda. Wendell Riho. Green. Look at that. 25 of 75, Wendell Riho Green. No, I can't really do Kermit. It's not the same thing. Oh, yeah. Ryan's just jacked about 24 coming back. Uh, Ramiel Tapia. He's like beating R2-D2 with a stick when he tries to take the little flashlight. Fine. David Holmberg. I know, I am losing it. I'm trying to entertain myself. Plus, I know Jules loves it, so... I'm doing it for Jules. Not for you guys. Abraham Almonte. Eric Johnson Mini. We've got a uh, Jacob Scavuzo. You say Scavuzo, I say I say Scavazo. Scavuzo, Scavazo. Let's call the whole thing off. Where did that song originally come from? Garen Cecchini. Somebody please research that. Where did Tomato Tomato, like that whole... Because it's been copied so many times in different shows and stuff. Where is that originally from? Steven Strasberg, Blue Paper. Micah Johnson. I do. Yes, I do. Steven Ramos, Refractor. Uh, J.R. Graham, Luke Jackson, Ice. Oops. Animal. Animal's kind of the same. You know, well, the guy who does Kermit, Fozzie, and Animal, it's the same voice. He does. It's like, if you can do one of them, you can do all of them. Eddie Rosario. Yes. Do robots dream in electric sleep? What is that? What is that? Brandon Moss, Yellow Paper. You know what I'm talking about? What is that? Isn't that the name of a movie or something? Shall we dance? Oh, okay. Thanks, Rocco. That's the kind of research that I like. So I could just call on someone and just look it up really quick. Perfect. 
Let's call the whole thing off. Blade Runner, yeah, that's right. I was almost going to say that. What does it do? What's... Fozzie and Yoda? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he does all of them, huh? One more case after this, boys and goyles. What a painful case. Mason Williams. Nineteen thirty seven film. Seth Mehihas Breen. So here's the schedule after this. We're gonna knock out a quick super break football. Like ten minutes. Super fast. I don't know if Rasmus is going to be here or awake or alive still to help with the thing, so maybe someone will help write down the hits for me. Michael Feliz. Um, right after that, we'll do Bowman Jumbo number seven. And then right after that, we will do five star number six if it's ready to fill. <gasps> Rasmus, wake up! It's Jimmy Nelson Refractor Auto Day. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Okay. 340 of 500. Erasmus celebratory, celebratory Jimmy Nelson refractor auto. Yay, Erasmus. Androids dream of electric sheep. Yeah, that's right. I haven't seen Blaine Runner for a while. Yachty. Gold Yachty. 33 of 50. Mikel Franco Minai. Oh. Armando Rivero. Who'd you have, JMG? Who'd you have? Who you got? Mark Appel, Mini Refractor. Troy Tulo. You think Blade Runner is overrated? Or is it underrated? Hiroki Kuroda, Blue Paper. Kel Franco. It's not that good, is it? It's kind of weird. Wow. Way to insult everybody, Robert, before you leave. Robert Stevenson. Lewis Thorpe Ice. There's a Julio Urias Top 100 and Jock Peterson Blue Wave. And then Drew Granier. 77 of 99 black refractor. Oh, what's the second best? Jose Ramirez orange paper and Ramiel Tapia mini. Okay, quick base dump. Two more boxes and then one more case. Did it? Was there a chase to jump? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sean Young? Split second? Okay, I need to watch Split Second. Man, send me a list of sci fi film noir. I didn't even know there was any other ones. Sean Young. Yeah. Finkel and Einhorn. Einhorn and Finkel. Finkel, Einhorn, Einhorn, Finkel. Quitter. 
Uh, Jonathan Singleton, top 100, and Tim Cooney, blue parallel or blue refractor, 228 of 250. <clears throat> Jonathan Gray, mini, Omar Flores. Autograph of Preston Tucker. Everyone feel sorry for Corey. Come on, everybody. He needs it. Jock Peterson Mini Refractor. And uh, Joe Wendell Ice. <laughs> Do not. Go in there. Tucker Newhouse, Refractor Auto. It's not Snowflake. It's not Snowflake. <laughs> Jason Worth. Delano to Shields Mini. Oh! Pekingese. Highland Park area. Half dead when I found her. Edwin Diaz. <laughs> oh, the... Oh, the B. What? Pekingese. Colin Moran Mini Refractor. Noah, you better submit some cards for grading because I spent like an hour doing hit recaps today for just because you asked on YouTube and Ustream. And I haven't seen anybody submit any grades yet for that. So I hope somebody submits a grade based on those hit recaps I posted today that took me an hour. Otherwise, I'm just going to cry. I could have slept. Uh, Kevin Plawicki and Hunter Renfro Ice. Who are they? <laughs> There we go, top 100 die cut. Kyle Crick, number 18 at that. 45 of 99, Byron Buxton Mini. Cats and dogs living together. Chris Bryant, top 100. That'll go in the ship pile. Micah Johnson, also going in the ship pile. 172 of 500. What happened to Rasmus? All right. We've got one more box and then one more case, the five caser. Good luck to those of you who haven't gotten what you're looking for, which is probably like everybody. Always. No one's ever satisfied. Come on. Colton Wong. No one's going to tell me right now, you know what, I've got enough. Please stop. Don't pull me anything else. Yes, you have until the end of tomorrow. You have till tomorrow night to submit. I really got to start putting the, the order together and pulling them out of the cases and stuff. Pulling them out of the sorting stuff, so... Let's try to do the biggest submission ever. Carlos Beltran by in the history of people. Rosel Herrera again. Man, Rosel Herrera autographs are like easiest thing ever. You're satisfied? All right. Well, let's go. Oh, yeah, you've got a gold and a green. Xander Bogarts. <laughs> William Becerra again. I don't know how to say his dumb name. Oh, 
Aguado. Good call. Ramel Tapia. E.T. I don't know. Did you? Yeah. We had a Grant Hill box topper auto from Court Kings that Jules got. <laughs> what do girlfriends know? Just kidding, girlfriend. Miguel Cabrera. I didn't say that like girlfriend like, you know. Dylan Florio like girlfriend, girlfriend. Seth Mejijas Breen. That's one of the most annoying names to say so far this year. Two Abreu autos. You can grade a green mini, sure. Speaking of good cards to grade, maybe. Yeah, centering's pretty good. Zach Borenstein. Jules, Zach Borenstein. Yeah, 102 of 150. You're right. Abreu autos should be satisfied. Billy Hamilton. Pretty satisfying. <laughs> yes, Satan. That's, that's Mr. Shikadance. Oscar Tavera's mini. Two Billy Hamiltons, a blue and a gold. Oh, yeah, what's all that pet food? Fiber. I could watch Ace Ventura every day. De uh, Drew Derek Holland. God, I can't even talk. And a clean pair of shorts. What do you know about Ray Finkel? Soccer style kicker. One hell of a model American. Clayton Blackburn mini. Uh, Steven Ramos, ice. <laughs> I might have been killed. Tom Ace. If one were so inclined. What does he say? I was just talking to Melissa about the proliferation of wealthy something. What does he say? Wealthy landowner. If one were so inclined, one could make quite a lucrative practice practice from little else. Uh, let's see here. CJ Cron. And there's a Chris Bryant Blue Mini, baby. That, that's the first one of him. 109 of 250. All right, case four of five is down. <laughs> Let's see that super slow. Base dump, and we'll be right back to start the next case. All right, here it is, case number five. <sighs> well, it's ladies' night. Oh, what a night. Oh, yeah. What's going on with five-star football, by the way? Anyone give me an update on that? Are we going to do that tonight? Are we down to, like... We got to be down to like 10 teams to even have a chance, I would guess.
Also, where's another box topper? Those were awesome. Oh, another Under Armour Auto. Was that the fourth one in this break? Yep. Dominic Smith. Awesome. That's a Mets hit right there. Ooh, eight left. Noah J. Noah, are you still here? Dominic Smith, perfect game auto. Boom. Nice one. Noah's happy. Eight teams left in five star. All right. That's probably going to happen. Nathan Carnes mini. Will Miles. Will Myers. Sparkle. Holy testicle Tuesday. Hey, maybe I'll give you a call sometime. Your number's still 911? Alrighty then. Tim Beckham. It's a, it's a, well, it's a box that has like six packs in it. There's six hits. What the heck? Huh. Felt weird. Javier Baez Mini. Dominic Brown Ice. Six hits. I'm just doing box. There's, I only have four boxes, so I'm just going to do one box at a time. Hunter Pence, Courtney Hawkins, uh, Cole Stewart, top 100, and uh, Jason Hirsch, mini. David Dahl, top 100. Tim Cooney, refractor. Louis, Louis Sardinus Mini. Billy Hamilton Sparkle. Have we had a... We've only had one auto? There we go. Adam Morgan. Hunter Harvey, Eric Johnson, and an Andrew Tolls Black Auto. Man, the ink got real light on that. Andrew Tolls Black Auto, two of ninety nine. Black paper, R.A. Dickey. Remember the wood Dickey? <laughs> the wood Dickey. You know he had a wood Dickey one of one? No. Yeah, from Triple Threads. Oh, box topper. It's not a big box topper, but that's a box topper. Sweet. What are in the, the little tiny box toppers? I guess we'll find out right now. Let's find out. It's redemption. Oversized purple ice autograph of Micah Johnson. Michael C. Oversized purple ice autograph of Micah Johnson. That goes to the Micah Johnson spot. Michael C. There you go. Rasmus, if you're still awake. That is an awesome one.
Michael C. just crushed it. Awesome. Oh. Cool. Did a pretty good 5k break. I mean, of course, it'd be nice if we could hit an Appel or a Bryant, but since they don't actually exist, Johander Mendez. A Bryant box topper? <laughs> I guess. I guess that could be possible. Danny Holson Mini and that guy. Homer Bailey, Addison Russell. Who's still here for the super break? Perfect game autos are going to be tough because they're paper, so I don't know. I don't want to tell you yeah and then find out it's all messed up. Andrelton Simmons. Roll call for the super break. Is everyone here? Is anybody here for Super Break? Anthony Rendon. Green Paper. Brandon Drury Mini. One, two. I'm here to watch it. Oh, gold, baby. Nick Castellanos, top 100. Wendell Riho, gold for the Red Sox. Gosh, gold. Why does gold look so good? 46 of 50. What is it about the color gold? Is it because of gold? You know, the uh, mineral? Oh, blue waves. Jose Abreu blue wave. Right off the top. Awesome. Chase Anderson. Robert Salmon. Ryan Stanick. Chris Bostic. No autos. Bummers. Valentine. Okay, Super Break coming up next. And then we will do Case 7 of Bowman for all you guys who have been waiting all freaking day long. It didn't fill last night. Kettle Marte. 800 Kettle Marte autographs. If I open a box of Bowman, it'll be Kettle Marte. It'll be two Kettle Marte autographs and a Billy Hamilton Redemption. That's my box. That's what I'll get. Hunter Dozier. Is Kettle Marte a terrible prospect or is he okay? Jules. <clears throat> Tyrone Taylor Mini. Zach Wheeler Ice. Yeah, Lucky Redemption random at the end. I will do that. We hit a Lucky Redemption number two. Joan Gregorio. Refractor Auto. That's a gold paper Garrett Cole to 50. Justin Nicolino Mini. All right, only six more boxes to go in the break. Box topper. Oh. Oh, two star. Mikel Franco, number three. First case in the last case. Mikel Franco has finally come back. Corey's still here. <clears throat> we got J.R. Graham Mini. Tulo. <laughs> Your bathroom. Uh, Max Scherzer Blue Paper, Time on Walker Mini, or Top 100 I mean.
seven spots left in five star. Daniel Polka, otherwise known as Paul Polka. Christian Yellick, my dude. My dude. Where's Huds tonight? I could have used some Tim and Eric Huds relief tonight. Corey Seeger Top 100, Michael Choice Mini Blue Wave, and a Preston Tucker Black Refractor, 40 of 99. Um, Jesse Biddle. Adam Jones Green. Martin Augusta. How you doing, Rasmus? How you, how you holding up? Those eyes getting heavy? He's already asleep. I need to hit a Jimmy Nelson Super to wake him up. Oh, that's right. Wait, what happened to the Raptors? Oh, that is an orange auto. Alex Yarborough. Don't we have a few Alex Yarboroughs tonight? Alex Yarborough orange. 23 of 25. How many stars for Alex Yarborough? He was the 147th overall pick. <laughs> build this. Sounds like shrimp. Corey Seeger mini refractor. Travis Darno ice. Raptors lost. Are they out? Or is it game seven now? Cesar Puelo. That's Jack's guy. I want to meet that Jack. Wait, I did meet that Jack. Two stars. No, I don't remember. Have I already asked you that one? J.R. Murphy paper, or, uh, orange paper. Bubba Starling refractor. Oh, yeah. You're way behind. <laughs> Ryan just lost it. It's game 7 Sunday. So wait, what were the games tonight for, for basketball? Tell me what happened. Please, fill me in on... Somebody fill me in on the basketball and hockey games tonight. Please. I'm stuck... I'm stuck opening a thousand delicious jumbo, jumbo Bowman cases. Jum, jumboing. I was trying to combine the two words. Jumboin? Jacob Scavuzo, refractor again. 491 of 500. He's had a good break. Mavs won game six? Jeez. Shrimp toe. Clayton Blackburn, Chris Bryant, Sparkle, so sparkly, Blackburn, Brooklyn won, Dallas beats Spurs, okay, is there a game going on right now, like Clippers and something, or Josh Reddick Paper, Blue, Austin Hedges, Top 100, Blackburn singing in the black, oh, no. Dead of Night. Delano to Shields Mini. Trevor Rosenthal Ice. Take these broken wings. Green auto refractor, maybe? JJ Hardy Green. Nope. Santiago Nessie Green Parallel Refractor. 66 of 75. Oh, Rockets Blazers. Blazers can close it out at home. Miguel Anjuhar, I think. I heard that somewhere. Yep. Jock Peterson Mini Refractor. Xander Bogarts Sparkle.
I don't even care who wins the NBA stuff. Manuel Margot, Blue Paper, and Jake Barrett. Yes, Jules and Ryan have been educating me on cardboard for about a year. It's funny how I do these breaks and I know less than most of you guys about cards. I'm sure you all know that. Byron Buxton Mini. Paul Goldschmidt. I wonder how many people watch my breaks on YouTube and are like, this guy doesn't know anything. What an idiot. Why is he a breaker and I'm not? God, it's not fair. Edwin Diaz, blue refractor. There you go. 126 of 150. I should be a breaker. I know everything about cards. Sam doesn't know anything. Can't even say hockey names. Matt Cain, Red Ice. 10 of 25. A real collector show all the base. Uh, I know, I'm not a card nerd. Well, I'm sort of. I'm not a really big card nerd, because like, I can't watch card nerds. They drive me nuts. That's a three star. Awesome. Uh, I must be really good then. <laughs> I don't know anything. You know, I didn't even, I mean, I didn't collect a single card. I didn't even open a pack of cards or know anything about cards from like 1990, man, 1991 till like 2012. <laughs> Say boom. <laughs> I love Rocco. He's my new favorite customer. Kyle Parker, autograph. Uh, yeah, it's true. I used to be. I used to know more about sports. I used to watch everything when I had time. That's the only thing that I kind of am not happy about. <clears throat> I'm getting way behind on players and stuff because I just can't watch. It sucks. Yadier Molina. I used to read the forums more when I first started collecting to try to learn a lot, and I don't even get a chance to do that anymore. <laughs> so and so is killing it. He's killing it. I'll do my other breaker impression. Eric Johnson. Pablo Sandoval Ice. I don't either. If I didn't I I've told my wife that before without sports. I'm like, what is every what do people do that don't watch sports? What the hell's the point? Why are you even alive? Like <laughs> Tyler Glass now. It's the it's the best. Yeah, you know, I did a K... Oh, wait, Purple Ice. Hold on. Hold that thought. Ian Kinsler on the Tigers. Purple Ice. 5 of 10. Wouldn't Robert be booing right now? Fox News. Marcus Stroman Mini. Now I just have Jules tell me who's good, and then I don't even remember. And then we're on to the next product, and it doesn't matter anymore. Albert Almora. Anyways, um, wait, hold, hold everything. Every time I start talking again, we get a good hit. I'll just do that every time. Mookie Betts, Refractor Auto. 151 of 500. All right. How many Mookies is that now? How many Mookies we got on the ship? Yo. Oh, let me try it again. So what I was trying to say is... I don't remember now. Damn, I forgot. Uh, Jorge Alfaro mini. What was I talking about? Damn it.
No, don't know. Carlos Martinez. Oh, yeah. I know what it was. Jerks and Profar Ice. Um. I did a heritage break. Well, autograph. Chris Bostic. Chris Bostic's not going to interrupt me. Was it Heritage or Gypsy Queen or Heritage? Heritage Gypsy. I think it was Heritage. 2000. I think if you look for my 2013 Heritage break. Well, it's probably not there. Oh, dual auto. Devin Marrero Mookie Betts. Is that the one we already hit? It is. 18 of 25. We've already got this one. We gotta random this because somebody has Mookie Betts and Devin Marrero's not a prospect. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to random that. Garen Cecchini. How the heck am I gonna do that random? I think I'll just do a 50 50 random. I'm not gonna give like whoever bought spots because there's 100 spots in the break. Kind of weird. We'll just random 50-50 between Red Sox and Mookie Betts spot. Billy Burns, Refractor Auto. Numbered 422 of 500. <clears throat> Actually, I can't go against my rules. I should just stick with my rules. Jimmy Nelson Mini. I'll just stick with my rules. If you bought multiple slots in the break, you'll get that many entries into the randomizer. I can't I can't change my rules midstream. I always realize that after I say something stupid like that. Jose Iglesias, Blue Paper, Jorge Alfaro, Top 100, and Jose Herrera, Refractor. Finish the damn story. Yeah, it was, uh, so I did a <laughs> heritage break. Posted it on YouTube. It's probably gone now. And uh, some guy was like, a real, someone, some comment on there was, a real collector would look at every card. I'm like, dude, you're telling me I should open a heritage case and show every card. Do you have any idea how long that would take? Take longer than this five case break. Jose Abreu, blue paper. Travis Darno, mini. <clears throat> so funny. Real collector. Guess I'm not a real collector. Uh, I'm going to lose sleep over that. My mom will never forgive me. I'm not a real collector. BJ Boyd Mini, Greg Maddox Sparkles. Five cases and no Orioles? Oh, like no Orioles color? Lewis Thorpe. You get a bazillion chromes, if they have chromes. Yellow Paper, Chris Medlin. And Tucker Newhouse. How many Tucker Newhouses do we have now? Jeez. Cody Ross. Nice. Cool. Dorsey's Paulino. So my as long as my hit recaps were not for nothing, uh, that then I'll be happy with it. I did that just for you, Noah. No, seriously. I, would, I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. And then I thought, oh, I'll do it for Noah. Alex Yarborough and a Trevor Gretzky, blue. Let's read the stats. Yes, and nobody would ever buy from my breaks if I looked at every card and read the stats on every card. Wendell Riho. Said that guy's name a lot.
All right, last two boxes. What is it, 8.30 right now? I'm not that far behind schedule, actually. Oh, wait, yeah. I think I said 5 to 8.30. I did have to take a break to eat and stuff, so that's why. I'm not that far off. Dylan Floro. Sorry, Scott, but I should just go with the rules that are on my website. I don't want to change them for whenever I feel like changing them. It doesn't really make any sense. Addison Russell Mini. Well, at least I pulled you some other good stuff, didn't I? Felix Hernandez, Blue Paper, George Springer, Brandon Compton. The worst name in baseball. No Super Fractor. This is our 19th case. No Chris Bryants and no Super Fractors. But we did hit Lucky Redemption number two. It's got to count for something. That's probably better than your average Super Fractor, wouldn't you think? Three Mookies. Exactly. Uh, Desmond Jennings... Gray Paper, Rafael Montero Mini. Oh, Blue Waves. Come on, autographs. Victor Payano, Jose Herrera, Seth Mejias Breen, Jake Barrett. Eh, oh, that's an auto. Chris Kohler. Blue Wave Auto, Chris Kohler. God, I love Blue Wave Autos. 47 to 50. Blue Wave Autos might be my favorite thing. Ice Autos would be my favorite thing if they had, if they were on ice. But the sticker ruins it. <clears throat> Jules, are you going to listen to Dark Side of the Moon with headphones on like I suggest? Cesar Puello Blue. Is Jules even here? Is that your spot? Carlos Correa Mini. Johander Mendez. Refractor Auto. Jeez. Again with the Johander Mendez. How many is that? 100? I need to find a forest. You do. You want to go through the checklist again? You have to have Dark Side of the Moon. First off, which pretty easy. Everyone has Spotify. You Darvish Ice. A phone or a, a iPod or a Walkman. Pretty much everybody has that. And really, yeah, the forest is the thing that most people don't have. Chris Flexen. Flexen for Jack. Mm, bushes, not really. You need a forest. What's the closest forest to you guys, Jules? That's sad if you don't have a forest nearby. I could drive like, what's the closest forest to us? Hunter Pence, gold. I could drive an hour to be to a forest. Also, a plus would be if it were like, <laughs> forest dot dot dot. What did what's his name say last night? The florist, the forest basin. Eat some mushrooms off the forest basin. Oh man, that was my favorite. Yeah, flex and auto. You got a Rex as an effects, Rex effects auto. Roberto Osuna. Yosemite. Yeah. Um. God, Yosemite's amazing. You guys should all go to Yosemite someday. It's unbelievable. Oh, red. That's an auto. Who is it? Rosel Herrera. Red auto. There's the lowest numbered one we've had. One of five.
Michael S. I'm trying to think. That's a big one. Well, I mean, color wise. Yeah, Yosemite is probably a good two hours. Two hours to Yosemite. Marco Scudero Blue, get out of here. What? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I, yeah, I've got a, yeah. Dylan Floro, Gio Gonzalez. And Miguel Cabrera, uh, yellow paper, Jorge Solar Mini. You should see the stack of minis. It's crazy. It's crazy. <clears throat> Lucas Sims, top 100. Eddie Butler, Blue Wave, and Joe Wendell, Refractor. Bowman, Bowman, Bowman. Michael Choice, top 100. Wonder if I'm gonna open some personal Bowman this weekend. I probably will. It's not gonna be that fun though. <laughs> After opening 20 cases, kind of takes the fun out of it. I'll be like, oh, this stuff again. There we go, Mark Appel, last box. All right, Mark Appel, base auto. There we go, Mark Appel. Who had Mark Appel in this one? John G, of course. No way John G's going to go a whole break without a Mark Appel. Last box, fourth to last pack. He pulls the Mark Appel. Christian Bethencourt Mini. Zach Granke Ice. Hey, Noah, you know what you should do since you just have all kinds of time? You should do a spreadsheet for me with all the hit re recaps of all the Bowman breaks this week. There's only 20 of them. Make that spreadsheet that you did. Zach Borenstein, let's see who the most common autos were and how many of each thing we hit. I know you got time for that, Noah. You're not doing anything. You don't have a family and a job and kids, a life. Last pack of the five caser. I can't believe it. Jeff Samarja and Oscar Tavares Mini. That's it. All right, we've got two things we got to do at the end of this now. Give me a second. I'm going to stop this recording and uh, clean up, you know, move all the base out, and then we'll do it. <clears throat> 